Welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are going to go and unlock a tainted character this time around because there's quite a few that I don't have yet. Let's do Blue Baby. Try and unlock the tainted version of Blue Baby, shall we? I'm going to say there's just quite a few that I still haven't got yet and we really need to get around to it. So yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and try and do that. As for today's question of the day, um, hmm, let's think about it. What's something that ruined an otherwise great game for you? What is a game that you really enjoyed and one thing just absolutely put it, like, put you off of it? For me, um, it's, it's really been a lot of games, um, having the, oh, really? Really? I start with Petrified Poop and then I get Petrified Poop straight away. Also, this is a terrible time to have Are You a Wizard? I hate it. Um, but, uh, for me, it's really been the, the new addition of, um, of this whole uh, games as a service model that has been adopted recently. I kind of think it's one of the worst things that's happened to gaming in the last sort of 20 or so years. Because, like, I'm not saying that it completely ruined the game for me, but for example, Diablo 4. I've been waiting for that game for so long. I, I really, really enjoy the game. Really, really good. But, for someone like me that basically no life to the hell out of the game and played it way too much, it's kind of a bummer because the the game is as a live service, which means it doesn't actually have that much end game content right now. That's that's all sort of to come later on down the line as they introduce the seasons and stuff. And it's like, if, if it would have just been one of the other Diablos or whatnot, or like another game, like most of the content would be there when the game launches. And it's just like, ugh kind of upsetty spaghetti that, um, how come my blue baby thing didn't give me a dip then? I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, yeah, it's kind of an upsetty spaghetti, really, that, uh, a lot of games are adopting this new model. Also, this room is kind of great for us. Lots of flies for us, indeed. Lots of money. Sadly, not enough to actually... Oh, no, we do have enough to get the shop. I didn't realize that there was a coin here I missed. Right, check what we got going on in here. <laughs> mm, no, thanks. Little baggy. How dare you, game? How dare you? Also, double tinted rocks, but no way to actually uh, crack them open is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying indeed. Hopefully, we get a way to do that. Okay, we unfortunately got the red version of this guy, which is significantly more troubling than the other version. Just because he, when he spawns all of his enemies, he spawns these dudes. And these dudes can be real tricky. It's okay though, we'll, we'll prevail. We shall prevail. We also got Guppy's Pride here, which as you can see gave us a little Guppy familiar. And it's also just a Guppy item, which is quite nice. But Guppy's Pride is real good because um, it uh, gives you one Guppy familiar per floor. So the earlier you get it, the stronger it is. So getting it on floor one means it's going to stack up real quick. But yeah, it definitely hasn't ruined Diablo for me, but other games especially. I think games as a service, it's a terrible model. Modern Warfare 2, the latest Call of Duty, is kind of being ruined by games as a service model. It's just, it's a really bad way of doing things for the consumer. It's a really good way to make extra money for the uh, people that make the games, but for the actual consumer, it's really not great. Right, uh, I'm going to go and quickly see if I can get myself uh, a bomb from somewhere. Or a key would also be quite good. Unfortunately, there's two keys in here, which I don't have access to. Little bit sad. Little bit sad. But yeah, I'm sure there's some other things out there. Examples of games that you guys were potentially really loving or hoped to love. And one thing kind of just ruined it for you. Be interesting to know. I would be rather intrigued to hear. I'm getting this different petrified poop. Really? Do the entire floor and don't get a single key or bomb? Oh, also, it's going to drop the bomb, isn't it? It's going to drop it on that centerpiece right there. You watch. Okay, at least give me a penny. It, didn't, it wasn't so rude. I'm going to gamble here. It's it's definitely... Oh. I guess it's definitely a big gamble. Because um, I, I need my HP. It was a very, very ill-founded gamble. Unless I get a bomb out of this for beating the room. Okay. Slightly more positive now. Uh, slightly more positive. Now we've just got to hope we don't get a golden chest from blowing up this tinted rock. Which I think we all know I will. I think we all know that's what's about to happen here. <gasps> we actually got more bombs back out of it. Can we buy a key in here by any chance? We can't. We could have bought a bomb from there though. So it was at least that. 
Okay, this 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 worked out pretty damn well. This worked out pretty damn well. Um. Ooh, I really like this. Uh, how do I do this again? This is kind of an interesting room design here. Oh, I really like this actually. This is a really interesting room. Slightly frustrating, but I got it. I love this. Every third room we activate a random book. It can it can be very very solid, like very very useful. I don't know if it's a set uh, like a set list of books or if anything that's tagged as book that will work. Good, good, two keys. Now we can open the golden chest as well. This this all ended up working out very nicely. And then we got two keys back as well. Lovely. Of course, I could try and eke out a secret room here as well, but eh, I'm just going to go. Carry on to the next floor. Keep it going. One moment. Uh, one second. Right, let's keep this moving. Keep this grooving. We, as you can see here, we get another, uh, another guppy head now, which actually, like I said will be pretty useful. If we can get BFF in the business as well, and get some double damage on these guys, they can actually probably carry us quite nicely. I, I like the fact as well that the heads are slightly different too. Having a real hard time killing this pooter here. We got him in the end though. Uh, I used a book there. Whoa! Okay, so it can be any book, because I don't know what the hell book that was. But yeah, I like it. I didn't realize it could work on rooms that weren't active. Just, do I still have my blue baby... Rework mod on. One second. Um, blue baby rework. I do still have it on, but for some reason it's not giving me dips as it normally should. I'm not quite sure why that is. That must be an incompatibility with another mod, maybe? Because I'm not seeing why that why that shouldn't be working. But normally when when playing as this version of Blue Baby, picking up a red heart would give me a dip. Unfortunately, it's not doing that right now. And like I said, I'm not really totally sure as to why. Good. Good shops can be valuable with this amount of money coming in. Or maybe they're not, because our shops have been doo-doo stinkers right now, in a big way. Real, real big stinkers, indeed. Ignore these guys for now. Just take out you. Good. good. Also, by the way, um, how would you guys feel about Isaac episodes? Not all of them, but some Isaac episodes being streamed to Twitch and then uploaded to YouTube after. Because I, like, like, sort of in place of the regular episodes on occasion. Because I want to get back into streaming at least a little bit. Just because I haven't done it in probably about a year or more. And I think it'd be a good idea to get back into streaming a little. Um, so, especially now with it being, um, being the summer and people being off school and stuff, I think it's the perfect time to get back into streaming. Um, but obviously I'd want to stream a game that people are likely to watch. So, I'd, I'd, I'd do some variety, but Isaac could obviously be a good one. Oh, Furton, hell yes. Um, absolutely love a good Furton run. Um, yeah, so it'd be, it'd be good to do some Isaac in there. But at the same time, I realized that the commentary on streamed runs versus like recorded for YouTube runs is quite different. So I wouldn't want to, um, I wouldn't want to like sort of ruin the experience for people, so to say, um, in terms of how they like enjoying episodes. So how would you guys feel about the odd episode being streamed on Twitch and then uploaded to YouTube? Because if you guys would be okay with that, that's something that I might do on occasion. Uh, maybe like once or twice a week, or however many times, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. It would also mean that some, like, sometimes the series will get uploaded slightly out of order, so you may, which doesn't matter so much, but it, like, it'll obviously mess with how my streak looks sort of thing. Um, Seven Seals is real good. Lil Fiend is also pretty good, I'll take it. Um, And, yeah, I'll go down this way. I love the fact that we've got Furt on now. And yeah, seven seals here. Real good. Some real good stuff. Hey, we got Boiler. Gotta love it. But yeah, I just try to sort of thought I'd take Familiars in case we get that BFF come our way. I see you with your little foghorn going there. Now that's a lot of pennies. Really got a lot of money going on right now. Deal with it as it comes. One second. 
Right, sorry for all the pauses. Let's keep it going. Having some various work discussions go on during this. <laughs> it's fine. Oh god, the things are still falling. Oops. Right. I think we've got a pretty good setup here, though. Yeah, I, I really, really would love to get um, to get a good BFF going. Obviously, we can't count on that, but I'm hopeful. Oh, uh, also, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we have Bookworm. Like, look, watch, watch. Fire. That, that's two of them, right? So that there's one. There's two. There's two. There's two. Oh, uh, maybe it's eye drops, actually. Wait, where the fuck did Freezer Baby come from? Oh, uh, I, I must have used Monster Man well there. Okay. For a hot minute there, I was very confused. <gasps> Hero font? There's Blue Baby. That's like crack. That's gold. It's amazing. Unfortunately, with Furton, I can't really care if my bullets are on corners as easily as I normally would. Nice. Oh, dude, what the fuck? There's underground enemies. I didn't... I, was, I wasn't privy to those. I wasn't ready. It's okay, though. Let's keep the groove moving. Good. We got a damage up there. Sadly, we don't know what we're getting here, so it's a bit random. Damn it! Dirty Mind would have been so goddamn good. So goddamn good. And the thing that I got is pretty trash. Potato Peeler does nothing for us. Real, real happy with how things are going so far. I'm very peeved that I missed out on Dirty Mind there. That's very upsetting. Oh, really? And then that hits me as well? Okay. Great book to get there, game. Great book to get. Oh my god. Okay, things have things are they're not going bad, but not great. Matchbook, good amount of bombs there, thank you. Go back to regular floor, I think, here. Yeah. N not getting dirty mind there is 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 terrible. <laughs> but I couldn't have known. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just gotta keep on trucking. We got four heads already. We got fast bombs. It's really good that it takes in any single book, even the modded ones. Because, yeah, we're getting like some really good books from the library mod. There's just so many books to go out. So this item gets even better if you've got the library expanded mod enabled. Library expanded such a good mod as well. So the library rooms are, are, are kind of really boring in vanilla because there's really not that many books. There's like two or three you hope for, but that's it. Now with library expanded, it means that the, the really good books are rarer, which is a good thing. And you can get some more interesting and unique books every now and again. Is that plum flute? Pretty sure that's plum flute. Why you got to give me an active game? Why you got to... I gotta be like that. Do you know what? I'll keep I'll keep plum flute at this stage. Why not? We got this whole familiar thing rolling where we just got a bunch of friends. Let's bring plum flute into that equation. Cause the thing is as well, like the money that we're getting from the poops is nice, but we've actually already got quite quite a bit of money, so it's not super necessary. Good. Panic button doesn't do much for us, I don't think. We need some keys right now, actually. Yeah, this 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 setup we've got going on right now, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. Like I said, I just... If I can get BFF, I'll be so happy. What? There's so many books. I've had Anarchist Cookbook three times now. Why? <laughs> Stop with the Anarchist Cookbook, please. Caves too. Oh, there's my dips, finally. I don't know where they were before, but they're here now. Holy shit. Like, like, that's a new attack. Got some fires rolling, my guy. Taken out fairly quickly. Uh, stem cells. Eh. Here's what it is. 
Back we go. Back we go. I just love it. We've just got this absolute army with us right now. It's great. Oh, we have a key. Fuck. Okay. I really need to get into my shop because, yeah, like I said, if I miss BFF, I will cry actually and fully on camera. I will turn the camera on just to cry. But you won't know because I won't know. And unless, unless I get a key and for some reason can't afford it, I won't know if I've missed it. So, maybe we've got compound fracture there. There's a bomb. Game, come on now. Um, that's pretty good. Pretty good damage up there. I like that. Sadly, though, no key. Oh, that's a good trinket. That's a good trinket right there. Right. Could we maybe find second secret room? I'm not entirely sure where it would be. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure where it would be, but I guess we could take a little look-see. Um, go over to the room next to the boss here. Bombs are key. Health up is also good. Ah, oh, okay, so it's not there. Okay, let's just leave it. I, I hate to leave a shop behind, but I can't be arse messing around. Just keep it going. Right. Sorry about this. Right. Let's keep it going. I, I love the fact that we got Furt on the. Honestly, yeah, I really like these papyrus. Is it papyrus regs? It's called. Oh, dude. Come on now. These explodey heads in a room this small. Also, you dropped the key there. How dare you? That helped immensely. Nice one. <laughs> Look at him go. That's fucking amazing. Oh shit. This actually upgraded those enemies. I didn't think it would. That's not ideal. I've made this room significantly harder. More bombs. Why not? Got him. Ah, oh, fuck, no keys! <laughs> oh, 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 wait, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can get the, we can get those keys. It's gonna hurt us, but I don't mind. Thank you, keys. Really? Uh, do you know what? Yes, I, I will, I will take Monster Manuel. It also gave us a slight damage up because of our trinket. Oh my god. Exploding little fuck. Yeah, we might as well have more familiars. We're already going that way. Really? My nightmares just died instantly to hitting a fire? 50% chance to get one of them on hit and then it literally just... Oh dude. This guy's going crazy. He's spawning a bunch of little dudes. Yeah, 50% chance to get one of those on hit. And then they just die instantly to walking into a fire that was... Dude, that... That was kind of crazy. Need some more HP. Got an air wash rune here. Um, did I get, like, teleported to a random room or something here? Because I'm confused on where I am. Right. Quickly check this out. That's the D6. Oh, this is tricky. Oh, I see, I see. I've got to go boom, boom, and boom. I will take the D6. 
already gave me a great item. Pretty happy. Alright, so what's this? Transfer enemies to spawn pull root saplings. Um, pull roots are temporary beef millions. How much damage did I lose there? Okay, not much. I'm, I'm willing to take this. Alright, shop. How are you? Pretty good shop. Sadly, not the greatest stuff, but not terrible either, especially the tears up. We're getting a few bees here, I like that. We should grab that battery charge and go and reroll whatever was in our item room. Plum flute, was it? Let's go. It's rare that I get D6 on any character other than Isaac. I quite like getting D6 every now and again. It's quite nice. Wait, what? Oh, no. There you go. Yeah, why not? Right. Keep it moving. Keep it going. I hope. Safety pin. Increase the range. That's actually pretty good as well, but I'm liking the fact that we're getting bees and stuff right now. It's pretty good. Do you, do you know what? That also works. <laughs> Telepills me right to the boss. That also works. Got a black heart there. Nice. Bombs incoming. Do you know, unfortunately, Molten Slag doesn't seem to be triggering with Furton, which I'm surprised at, because Furton's meant to just adopt all tier effects, but it doesn't seem to be working, which is kind of odd. Take that. What the hell is this thing? Um, Tears now arc and leave behind a fire jet on collision. Significantly increases the chance of generating burning and fettering pull roots. Sounds pretty cool to me. So there's some fire jets we're getting. Our tears don't arc because they can't. They travel too quickly. It's kind of funny. Um, it's, it's really kind of not a good idea, but I'm going to take this. Right. Down we go. Was this an XL floor? It wasn't, was it? No. Good. Um, no, no. Yeah, that's... You can't... You can't be making me use that book. That's... That's not okay. <laughs> not okay. This is good. We got a cool setup here. I don't know if our trinket is, like, melding with our active in a really good way. Dude, I'm gonna die. No. <laughs> Why can't I play this game at the minute? Fuck you. No, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck is this room anyways? Fuck this room. No one saw anything. Shut up. I'm getting really frustrated that I can't play this game at the minute. So guess what? We're just going to cheat. <laughs> this run's too fun to let go. And also the video's too short and I'm getting annoyed. Ooh, full card. We need that. I know it's my own fault for like take taking devil deals that I shouldn't be taking and having really low health, but it's also like, come on, game. Give me, give me a chance. You see? Just survive a little bit longer and the game gave me that chance, so... We're just gonna pretend that death never happened. I wasn't a goober. And we can just play on this run. Enjoying the rest of our days. 
Right, tech on you guys. I'm liking this fire stuff though, this is good. Why do I always shoot that guy as soon as it spawns? Give me some dippies. I set everything on fire there. I'm not quite sure what's going on, what buck I used, but I seem to do some good stuff. I just need this run as a as a reinvigorator, so to say. To get me back in the game. I need to I need to get a win under my belt. Even if it's a cheated win. Because, uh, yeah, at the minute, I'm just playing, like, absolute hot trash. And it's, it's really, it's really getting to me. Because it's like, do you know how, like, when you're doing bad in a game that, you're, that you've played for thousands of hours and you know you're good at? You know how to play it. And for some reason, there's a mental block and you just can't. Like, there's no reason I should have taken Lusty Blood and that Devil Deal. It was absolutely stupid. Um, and, I, and I paid the price and it's just annoying me. What the hell's going on? Um, maybe the game has disagreed with my methods? Because it seems to have crashed. Great, it crashed. Okay, so the game did not like the idea of me doing that. Apparently fool carding out of the boss room. Is that what, is that what I did? I, 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 did, I did use my fool card, right? That's, that's what happened there. Big Upsetty Spaghetti. I don't know why Upsetty Spaghetti is in my head today as a phrase, but I've used it like six times this episode and it's not going away, so you best get used to it. Right. We're back in. We're going to continue. Is it going to make us replay the whole depths? Okay, no, not the whole depths, but a good, a good portion of it. Okay. Keep it going. Did we go in here prior? We did. Got our full card. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but we'll see. Grab that. Grab that. Okay. Slightly back in business here. Let's keep moving. Hopefully, like I said, it doesn't happen again, but you never know. Grab all of those mini Isaacs, thank you. They did do the same book again here. Okay. You are dead again, dude. Um... The game crashed again, but like before I killed the boss this time. It was when I hit one of those root guys. This run is destined to die, apparently. Great. Oh my god, really? Oh, this is so frustrating. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get my groove back and get a win under my belt. And the game's like, no. No, you, you you do not get that privilege. Right, this time I'm going to save the game before we do the boss. We'd have to replay the whole floor again. God damn. Come on, game. I apologize for just a black screen for you guys. I realize it's not ideal. There you go. Ah, this is what playing modded is nowadays. Right, let's try and do this. Debug. 10. And we can speed through everything, get back to where we were. Give me that. Through here, give me that. Give me them. 
Give me that. Oh god, the game's fighting back against me. God damn, we have so many familiars, it's amazing. It's what you do when the game screws you, you just kind of roll with it and uh do this. Right, so now we'll we'll uh exit and continue and that will save our progress where we are. Then we'll re-enable debug 10. We'll come in here, we'll insta-kill mum, we'll disable debug 10, we'll pick this up, we will, we won't go in there because that'd be cheating, we'll come out here, okay, we're all good now, oh it was going down to this floor that, that killed us last, that, that crashed us last time wasn't it, okay, we've made progress people, we've made progress, we have made progress. Gosh darn. <laughs> Game is stressing me out, my god. Uh, dude, can you stop jumping places where I can't really hit you? It seems to be something to do with, like, the little... The little root vegetable fellas. Lots of rooms making us just kind of chill out and wait here. I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, hopefully we don't get too many more crashes here. Hopefully that was our lot. I guess we'll see. Killing stuff pretty fast though, I like that. Just gonna bomb out of here. Those crows take forever to land, can't be asked dealing with them. I'm sure there'll be some more in another room coming up, but those ones specifically, I'm just going to leave. I love that one. They, they, they bear themselves and immediately just die straight away. Lots of these guys as well right now. Luckily, they're actually really easy to kill. Ow. Ouchie, ouchie. Hmm, not quite sure what to think of these dudes. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. IOU, I don't think we need that right now. Technology book. Some tech in there. Oh, there's some herming shots wandering about the place. Very menacingly. Well, this is horrible. Ow! Dude, die! There you go. Getting hit a lot. Getting hit a lot. What's that? What's the item that's making us drop the red poops? Because I goddamn hate that. <laughs> Don't make me drop a red poop that can hurt me. That's just bizarre. Holy shit. I know what you do now, Buck. It's not BFF, but it is beginner's luck. It isn't that great for us right now, but there you go. Right. Keep moving. Grab that real quick. spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. It's not gone the way I would have planned this episode to go. Not at all. I wanted things to go better. I didn't want to respawn myself, I promise. I'll try not to cheat too much in the future, but right now, I need my confidence back. And the game has been not doing a great job of helping me with that recently. Can I stop going the wrong way, please? And can I stop getting hit, please? Oh, I got hit again. I might not even make it to the beast. Like, I might have just given myself a free ride for nothing. Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. I'm going to die. 
why can't I play this game anymore? What's it's so like I'm, I'm sure it gets I'm sure you guys are getting annoyed at me just constantly complaining about how bad I am at this game, but genuinely it's really really frustrating for me. I feel like I'm letting you all down. <laughs> I just I just can't play this game at the moment. I'm just really bad at it. And I don't really know why. The game crashed again. Oh my god! <laughs> this episode was a mess. But I'm going to leave it there because the game clearly does not want me to keep playing this run. Whatever that item is that spawns the uh, the little the little root guys must have something wrong with it because clearly some interaction is causing some crashes. But it is what it is, I guess. I, yeah, I really do apologize. Please do let me know what you think about the streaming idea because uh, that would ho hopefully alleviate some of these issues as well because while you're streaming, it's not as bad. Uh, but either way... I apologise the episodes haven't been completely up to scratch recently. I will try my best to do better. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.